Oop. Stop it, stop it, stop it. You start to develop a bit of a sixth sense for when this whole thing's gonna start... Just stop working. Let's test something. Can you hook a barrel? I would guess no, but... I don't know. You can. Okay. Uh... Uh... Worrying. You know what? Let's make sure things are tied down. I would be a little worried about stuff not being tied down if a storm's about to happen. Oh wow, the wind's going in the opposite direction of which way I want to go. I should also retract the sail before we get in trouble. Ah, the atmosphere. Oopsie. This is some of the thickest atmosphere I've encountered in a game in a while. This is neat. There we go. Let's get that... get you down. You're just gonna counteract our efforts at moving forward, I think. Forward now. Bravely. Bravely. Oop. Gotta rain. Yeah, I'm not sure if they could possibly make it more obvious that using a sail is a bad idea right now. Stay in there, damn it. You seem to be able to lock the sail in place, but not the, uh... Not the thrust, or whatever you want to call it. The engine. The engine will let go periodically. Maybe it's when I hit steam. I'm not sure. It is, isn't it? I hit steam and that's when the button comes out. Okay. I thought it was basically just stopping whenever it felt like. No fuel left behind. I am out of hooks, though, to keep it on. What is that sound? Is that wind? This sounds bizarre. It's like... Electromagnetic waves or some, some, something like that. Very strange sound. I like that the game's entire audio escape rebalances when you change the camera angles. Like, here's normal. Like, oh! Ah! Uh, I was, uh, uh, I was praising your audio. Why you gotta be mean? Ah! Uh, this is the least efficient elevator. Ah! Uh, elevator! The way that it auto goes down is a problem. I'd rather have a call to the bottom button instead of uh, it just it just leaves automatically. So the longer I have it running, the more I'm probably using water from the energy meter, right? I'm probably using that up in that moment, which sucks. Keep it going. Lightning bad. We need to set up some kind of grounded lightning rod or something. Can you do a grounded lightning rod, though, on the same vehicle? How well would that work? I don't know. I ain't no expert. You just sputtered to death? 
Keep going, buddy. Oh no. I'm having trouble starting the engine. Oh no. Oh, it actually worked that time. Shit. Just in time for me to need it to not work because I was gonna gr grab stuff. Oh yeah, they're making you feel like you struggle with this thing. I had to press the button over and over again to restart the engine. It was going down. A dedicated little explorer. Go! It's beautiful. Oh. It looks like one of those serene, post-apocalyptic, like, desktop wallpapers people always share. Like, they'll, you'll find some guy who has a giant gallery where he just keeps making these, like, steampunk, post-apocalyptic looking, like, serene landscapes over and over again. And, and it's like somebody made a game out of that. Which is fitting enough, it's like when you find- it's like when you hear about somebody who just keeps making cool creature designs all the time and then you encounter their- then you find out they made a movie out of their creature- creature designs in the case of The Forest which was a cool movie. I've got a box coming straight ahead. Oh. Did not realize that it had came, come unlocked. It might not. It might not just come unlocked when you press that button. It might just need you to tell it to go again all the time. Oh shit! It's going backwards. Nope. Negative progress is bad. Negative progress bad. So you get you in here. The wind died down. I'm wondering if I can make this go. Oh, shit, is it broken? Oh, I can't press this button anymore. Oh, that hurts my feelings. <laughs> yeah, let's power it. Dragging it uphill is probably a bad idea. That was a bad place to stop, actually, going downhill. I should have pushed it forward more. Let's take a look around. At the very least, let's not crash headlong into this thing. You hey, little guy? I don't, yeah, I don't think you're getting in there, buddy. Hmm. It might be possible to get on the walkway. Let's be nice to our giant ship. Manually park it. Try to get run over by it, though. All right. I think I can stand on top of my sail. So I think we're good. Yeah. Even with a giant barrel of water, which is like what a, a ton. I think it's I think it's 1 ton per cubic meter or something like that is how ridiculously heavy water is. Even with that, we can drift lazily down. Have a chill ass time. Hey. Hey. Uh oh. Is there more of that up here? Because I didn't really. There we go. There's more of it up here. I was, I was like, oh my god, I just. I took the fuel down for my ship. I didn't know there was going to be one of these a moment later. Ugh. Got suction cupped. It got like suctioned in. That was creepy. No. Oh, I can't go in there anyway. I saw supplies over there and I, I was worried that it was going to crush them. Ooh. You're another upgrade. No. What's that back? What's that in the background? 
Probably food supplies. The propeller is so massive. Do I pull you down, I wonder? What? A welding device. That's interesting. I bet that fixes the button. And I bet it fixes all the broken things on my ship now. There we go. Button. Yeah. I got a boat fixer. Kind of a big deal because everything's broken on this thing. Is it inside? Aha, uh -huh. suddenly this other piece of the ship makes more sense. Oh, maybe that'll fix the fact that this thing always comes unattached. Probably. Wasn't there supplies back here though? Yeah. How much is this? What is that? Oh, look at the light. I bet I can hook you onto something and we'll have light pointing around in here. Not super sure where I'd want a light to be. I'm just gonna put it in here. I ain't leaving you. No minor inconvenience is defeating me. This is actually a pretty funny game to be playing right after Hollow Knight, as far as like mechanical intensity goes. I might have to look into the soundtrack of this game. Alright, now things are getting cluttered again around here. Because I have tons of stuff jammed into one spot. Oh, it always faces forward. Interesting. Well, it lights the room, lights the room better from the back hook, I guess. Maybe there'll be a mechanical incentive. Oop. Hang on. What am I doing? We gotta get you fixed up. So that, that whole back corner is like the emergency chunk of my vehicle. I'm not really sure how I managed to avoid that, but okay. you think the elevator would crush the hose when it auto-retracts. Fix it. Yeah. Actually, let's give you a shot. Do you work again? Come on. Oh, it's doing it too. We're just having trouble starting. Huh. Are you busted? What's your deal? Maybe it just won't work here. Maybe we need more distance from the house, or... Like, maybe I was worried it would collide. It admittedly doesn't look... doesn't look windy right now. I wonder if they just won't let me. Come on. Yeah. There we go. Now it's working. Not necessarily any wind to catch, but it's up. 
it might be bad to have it sticking out when there's no wind to catch. It might slow you or something. Probably does. Don't know if it works in the game though, mechanically that way, or if that's just the same... That's a reasonable interpretation of how it would work in real life. Maybe when I stack the two of them, I just go start going really fast. Kinda looked like I was going fast for a second there. More stuff! Spoiler alert, I like stuff! Part of me definitely is wondering, like, what if there's some kind of hazard that shows up? Or predator. Ooh. It's time for this spot to become my secondary storage. Your living quarters seem like a natural secondary uh, storage in part just because it's... I don't know when, we'll, when we will or won't lean in this game, but that whole area has a ramp. So stuff's not going to really roll away. At least. And the achievement gave me an... I just got the achievement for hoarding. Feeling a bit judged at the moment. I'm going to take you down. There we go. It's nice to have the sail working again, but clearly I don't have any actual wind power. And reasonably you could think that having a sail up that's not making you move forward probably is just making you move more slowly. Oh, we're sputtering to a halt. Uh, that seems dangerous. Ooh. That's where the signal was coming from, isn't it? Yeah. That's what we heard before, was that signal. I remember you. Let's ease it in there. I'm not really in a hurry to risk breaking things. But I think I need to be in jumping range of that light. Oh. Oh, we're going way up. Radio? Oh. Is the whole thing gonna fall? Oh, it's just leaning because we're this high up? I've got to explore the whole range, right? Nope. I think so. I think what's going on here is how will you tu how will you tune the signal here affects how g how good your signal is for the music. I have music now. Jump out. Oh. I want to just slowly drift down Mary Poppins style. I'm Mary Poppins, y'all. Yes. You're going in the living quarters, obviously. Yes. Forward. Now it's a jolly adventure.
This will make me feel less alone, right? <laughs> Oh, did it just die out? Has that f has that flag always been pointing to the right? No. I was right to be curious about that. The flag pointing to the right means that we have wind. Yeah. That's what I need to look at. Music's dead though. Oh. We kept going clean through the night. Well, that's just goddamn beautiful. They had crops down here? These are farmlands, yeah. How long has the ocean been gone? There's bison. Or buffalo? Buffalo. Bison? Shit. They're not in the road, are they? Uh-oh. Should I be worried about that? Uh, okay, they're gonna get out of the way. I was concerned. Oh, look at him. I think that's called a water buffalo. Is that what used to be an island? No, we're too we're too far into the ocean, right? There there wouldn't that wouldn't be the, that would not be a surface thing. Where are all the people though? Like, these look like places people would still work at and live at, but there's no one there. The Blue Isles, a fresh start. There's a lot of implied world building going on here. So I guess that was, at least for a time, the coast, a series of small islands. And then after that stopped being a thing, they started farming down here. Unless they were just calling them isles ironically, when they were just mesas at that point due to lack of water. I should probably retract the sail before it makes physical contact. Shit, 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 shit. Oh, did I make it or not? No, I didn't make it. Damn it. Huh. How'd I screw that one up? I suppose there's something that feels a little nebulous to me when I try to figure out which part of the ship you press to make the sail, the sail ret retract, so I guess I messed that up. Is this... I think that door's uh, closed. Yep. They bring Yara right up in here. What's gonna happen? Not really working, is it? It almost looks like that... Upstairs almost looks powered. Like the lights are on. Oh, 
All right. That opened the actual door. Oh. Oh. That's big. Oh, I'm on it. Oh, the signals. Hey, we're picking up music. We have music again. So the game kind of selectively has music. <laughs> yeah, I can't go back down there now. keep hoarding stuff here. I think the bedroom is the number one hoarding location in this game because it's, it's not a high traffic spot. Whereas hoarding everything in the location you actually load the fuel starts getting in the way. What is this? Oh, those are books. Those are books. You hang it up there, you belt covered in books. Yeah, that's that's a belt of books. I wouldn't want to burn that for fuel. Not unless I, don't, not unless I have to. <laughs> Music cuts out. What's it say? Henriksen and Sons? Oh, you can pick up this chair. Oh, you can probably burn that for fuel, huh? You can probably burn the bell for fuel. You can probably burn anything for fuel, basically. But who wants to do that? Oh, so, ah, crap, crap, stop, stop, stop. Didn't mean to press that. All accidental. Ooh. What is this? Oh. That makes that go down. Huh. So we can tow that button around. There's a door on this side. I don't think that's our end goal. I think we... Let's try climbing up. This might be another spot to install a part, because look at that thing. Oh yeah, it has its own weird orange symbol. All the red orange. Is it called Fire Truck Red? I think it's called Fire Truck Red is that color. Uh all the all those symbols mean some new part, some new power is going to be added. Can I get up through here? No. I think I need a way up. I don't know, I'm towing that thing. Maybe I do just make the whole thing move. I wonder if the thing will follow us. Oh, it's attached. I didn't see the beam in the back. So I've got to keep pulling it until we get beyond the thing that's in the way. Is it still in the way? I think it is. Keep it going. Gotta thread that needle a little bit. Is that as far as I can make it move? Yep. Hmm. Does this button work on the other one? No, it only turns this... Yep, it only, it only turns this one. 
All right, let's let's gun a little bit. I was trying not to ram the wall. A little more, buddy. Can we keep it? Oh, there it goes. Just kind of teleported on. Game's like, close enough. Whatever. I don't want to keep that button. <laughs> it's attached to the, mach the machinery of this place. What is over here? What do you do? What is it doing? First of all, is it consuming any... Is it consuming any power? I don't think it is. I think it's just working. What is it, though? Ah! It retrieves items off the ground. Which would mean that I don't have to manually retrieve them myself. Interesting. Let's give that a test then. That's one box. Might only work for one at a time though. Now I know that if I watch the flag, I can tell that there's no... I, it's not time for me to, to, uh... Oh. Oh yeah, it's just pulling them all up. God damn. That's neat. So now that it's repaired, does that mean that it no longer... Oops. I think now that it's repaired, it might be done with the whole thing where it... Uh... Nope. There it goes again. It's it's just gives up. Weird how the throttle does that. Maybe it does that when the steam starts to flash at me. Oh boy. Um. Bit concerned about you. Uh, brakes? Oh, that's an actual... I just saw the brake go down. So that is a proper brake. I mean, I have wondered whether you can use this as fuel or not, and right now I have zero fuel, so... Not a ton to risk. <laughs> this pile of fuel. You laugh at me now, but you, maybe... Hours from here, there's like a frost, frost punk situation where it's really important how much I was stashing. I kind of doubt that because the game gave me an achievement called Hoarder, which is judgmental, frankly. Hey, what was that? Couldn't actually see it. It might be a book. I can't tell what I'm looking at sometimes in this game. There's another one. I can't... He, he switches back and forth between left and right so fast. Kind of looks like a book, or it might just be a box of something. I don't know. Let's find out what happens when I do this. Doesn't seem like the best plan ever. There's another one. Why was I getting so many of these? What could go all wrong, right? Uh. All right. Uh. Oh. Hmm. Ah, additional damage. 
the good news good news is it actually was a valid source of energy quite a lot of it bad news is it uh it broke the thing that you actually put it into ah i think i saw energy go down so i think using this thing i think the suction thing in the back the, the hose and the welder all use up your energy meter just very gradually compared to actually physically moving hey more houses all right yeah i think i gotta see where this goes 